The woman you're about to meet isn't looking for a handout. Carolyn wants to pay every dollar of her mortgage, but she can't right now. The nurse is looking after her husband and desperately trying to keep her family together. All she wants is a bit of compassion from her bank. Its response will make your blood boil. It's hard enough knowing that um, we're not going to beat that lovely old couple walking down the street holding hands. Not going to be at my kids' weddings. He's not going to be around for grandchildren. Slowly but surely, Caroline is losing the love of her life. Mm, and he's gorgeous. Still gorgeous. Well, he's flat out now, but you look at those pictures, he's gorgeous. These boys will soon be without their dad. They call it the long goodbye, because bit by bit, piece by piece, you lose them. And now the family is facing the prospect of the bank taking their home. They will sell the house out from under us. And all I was trying to do was just renegotiate an existing loan. I just feel it's pretty rough. And it seems there's no reward for being responsible. Nick's terminal brain disease has left him unable to move, see or speak, but he can hear. Nico, can we put on the rank outsiders? Yeah. Shall I do that now? Yeah, we play a lot of music and I say to him, oh, who sang this? Was this the Stones? Or, and he'll either roll his eyes because I'm wrong or <laughs> give me a big blink if I'm right. It's about 50-50. <laughs> Caroline and Nick have been married for more than 25 years. They've raised two healthy sons, 20-year-old Max and 15-year-old Harry. Through it all, the family has been in this home in the Melbourne suburb of Glen Iris. He's just tenacious. He, he, he wants to be here. And I ask him, have you had enough, honey? Um, you tell me if you've had enough or if you still want to be here. And he wants to be here. Nick was diagnosed in 2011 and in 2016, he was moved into care as his condition deteriorated. It was appalling for a lot of reasons. Um, he wasn't cared for. I felt that he was quite neglected. And that's why Caroline decided to give up her job as a nurse, move her husband back into the family home and become his full-time carer. Great, so this has all been modified, yeah, obviously. Yeah, and it's all... In, um, same level as the hallway, so we can roll in with Nick's lifting machine. We use the sling to help put Nick in the bath. They've spent years renovating the property to suit Nick's changing needs. We'll reinforce the deck so it can handle Nick's chair. Door widening. Door widening, yeah, we've opened the, the kitchen doors and moved the oven onto the other side of the room so that it's safe to wheel him through. The NDIS has helped with the home mods. Here's a little something I prepared earlier. <laughs> but Caroline has been forced These to fork out for many oh, other right. expenses, Thank including God. medical bills and non-PBS listed medication. So if that's $140 a box, just mm. that box. We've got a lot of those boxes. Yeah, there. we've got a lot of those boxes. And this is the other one. So he can't cough and clear his throat. Mm. So this is the most effective medication for that. And have a look at that price. $990. Mm. Are you kidding me? Nope. All up, Nick's meds cost the Melbourne mum around $3,000 a month. He needs this. There's no There's question. no choice. All of Nick's soup is gone. That was gone in the first three years. I've gone through 80% of my super, I would say, over the last two and a bit years. And I've got about $35,000 left. Caroline has crunched the numbers and knows she soon won't be able to afford mortgage repayments on the house. I don't want to leave. This is our forever home. This is the only family home we've known. Caroline says she was encouraged by a mortgage broker to contact ANZ's hardship department and ask if she could pay just the interest back on the loan for a period of two years. This would slash her repayments by around two thirds. But instead of helping or offering any alternative suggestions, she claims the bank 
shut her down. And I'm trying to be responsible and I'm trying to plan and I'm communicating and I'm not hiding anything. I'm being really transparent. And I feel like we're a really safe bet. ANZ's so-called hardship department making the family's life that much harder. No person should have to deal with all this, all this crap. Harry and Max say having to move would break them. Yeah, we've modified it like, explicitly to look after Dad as well. The uncertainty is putting more stress on the boys, who are trying to cherish the final few years with their father as his condition worsens. So I'll be going through our old messages. I've got like his voicemail, stuff like that, because I can't remember the last time he actually said like a word or like a I love you or anything like that. So that's been really, that's been really hard. I think it's one of the saddest stories I've heard. Financial advisor Scott Parry is CEO of Crown Money Management. You just hope the bank can see the person behind the numbers. He says tightened lending conditions and Caroline's lack of income means ANZ is unlikely to refinance her loan and offer an interest-only period. So this is the tightest lending I've ever seen in 15 years. So the banks now are going through all your expenses with a fine-tooth comb. They probably should have been doing this from the start, to be honest. I will be working until I'm 70. I knew that already. I just can't work until Nick's gone. Sorry, I don't want to think about that, but um, that's the reality. At the kitchen bench, As please. the family pray ANZ can help them find some sort of solution, friends are doing everything they can to assist. She's just so resilient. I can't imagine where I'd be if I was in her position. Tilly used to work as Nick's nurse. She's running a half marathon next month to raise money in support of the family. They're just such beautiful people and why wouldn't I, you know? 21 Ks, whatever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> At the end of the day, you know, I'm I'm running 21 Ks, but you know, this is this is ongoing for them. She yeah. seems like a pretty amazing mum. Yeah, mm, she's incredible. Honey, in here. Part of why this all hurts so much is because we are so close with mum and dad. Like, um, yeah, we love them to death, and we know that's received. Do you want a home date? Yeah. Well, that was a big yes, wasn't it? I'm showing my kids what you do when you marry someone. You stick it out. And I just need to also be able to look my kids in the eye and have them know that I did everything, everything I possibly could for their dad. Heartbreaking. ANZ said it can't comment on individual cases, but we do have some good news. Last night, the bank called Carolyn and promised to find her a solution. Rest assured, we will stay on the case.